news in the world of Aska, the long-awaited, actually not that long-awaited, but anticipated major update number three is going to be launching this coming Monday, November 25th. And there's a lot of good things in store for us. We have an updated roadmap and some details sneaking out here and there. One of the biggies, of course, is that they're going to have dedicated servers. They'll be putting out information on the specifics of how this works on Monday. However, we do know that it's going to be working through Steam. The tool is a free download from Steam. You can't currently get it any other way. So you'll have to manually configure the server setting in a text file. They've only tested this on a machine that they have direct access to so far. In theory, the setup for a remote server should be possible, but there's going to be a possibility of some issues with this, so expect that if you're trying it out and plan accordingly with your save files. The dedicated servers are still going to be for four people at this time. They'll also be implementing an in-game chat, lots of visual improvements, some much requested items of changes to terrain manipulation. We're going to have a road planning tool and changes to how pads are done to make paths and slopes, including being able to curve roads and paths. In order to make stone roads, it's gonna cost you three stone per box. You place out where you want the road to go, put in the stones, and then you build it away, or your villagers build it away. The new pathing tools will also be able to do curved roads and they will do all leveling for you, as well as making ramps. And you can still make the old style roads if you want to. So since you can now make roads of stone, you can literally pave the roads with your enemies. <laughs> Sorry, I stole that one from one of the devs. Another major part of this update is going to be how archer towers work. As the archery range and archer towers have been completely reworked. And the towers will now work more like the archery markers. So you can have more than one person assigned to it at times. You can have all of them assigned. You can include it in a route around the village with other markers as well. So this should be able to save you on the number of people that you need to be patrolling as archers and staged at the archer towers. As far as terrain manipulation, including any kind of regrowing grass, it's not here right now, but it's something that they are interested in and are looking at doing in the future to be able to regrow grass where it was before. They say they can't put it in new places, but we could be able to repair it or regrow it. I'll be live looking at the update on Monday with free giveaways, so please join me live on YouTube. Leave a like and comment for the algorithm and free subscribe for more Aska. Until next time, happy gaming.